this is Dr. Walls, and I'm here with Dan Corrigan, who is from Rosita Real Foods, who is a Walls Protocol Seminar sponsor. So I'm, I'm really glad to have Dan with us. Uh, these partnerships are a great opportunity to share information about the products and devices and services that I use in my everyday life uh, with all of the Walls Warriors out here, because so many people ask me specifically, what is it that you are doing uh, and how do you do it? So sharing my interview with you helps me teach my tribe how and why I use the various supplements and devices that I do every day as part of my healing journey. Uh, and they get to learn about uh, so much uh, wonderful support that we have. So let's get into this today. And we're going to talk about the intricacies of fish oil uh, and the intricacies of fish oil production and what is different and unique about Rosita fish oil. So, Dan, why don't we start with your uh, telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. I'd be happy to. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, you know, in my 20s, with I was, uh, I had my own healing journey in my 20s. And, you know, it's funny, that's when you think you should be at the top of your health. And my health was kept getting worse and worse throughout my 20s. And I, I really became desperate for answers. And so I, I started going to numerous doctors and, you know, I had something that was kind of more, uh, uh, wasn't easily defined by the regular medical system as you know a certain disease or ailment and anyways so it took me about 10 years to really kind of uh, uh, recover my health and and what it allowed me to do I guess was to uh, take control of my own health versus going to somebody to fix it so I think that was a big takeaway and then the other thing that during that journey the other thing that I came to realize was you know, there's no magic pill. There's, you know, sure. it, uh, it's really um, all about uh, th the main thing is real food. And so it led me to the real food movement, which then led me to Rosita. And so while I was buying food from local farmers or finding raw milk and things like that, uh, I also found uh, Rosita, which was producing a fresh raw ratfish liver oil, which nobody <laughs> I'd never even heard about but it was uh the way that they were making it was, it was unlike so any unique. any anything else on the market so it, it, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about Rosita Real Foods and why Rosita cod liver oil yeah so you know I um uh you know what I, what I did know when during my uh journey of of trying to figure all this stuff out was that you know the cod liver oil in the marketplace, um, you know, it had to go through different processes and processing and, and it was highly processed actually. And so Rosita, they were making a ratfish liver oil that was um, basically almost like raw milk is, is fresh, unadulterated. And, and so um, anyway, so they were, they were doing something unique. And, and so when I, uh, I actually flew out there five years ago, I'm in the U.S. I represent Rosita in the U.S. and flew out to Rosita, met with the fishermen, and 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 really um, uh, encouraged them to use the same uh, processing techniques for the cod liver oil. And so that that's what hey, that's what. Can you did. tell us uh, what uh, how they produce the cod liver oil and how sure. that's different from uh, the other products that people are are so fond of? Yep. Yep. So the um, so what's really neat about Rosita and what's different uh, it starts with the fact that they control the whole process from fish to bottle. So that they they come from a line of fishermen. They have their own fishing boats, their own fishermen. They go out catch their own fish, and and then they um, take great care of that. So so one of the key features of making a fresh raw cod liver oil is to keep the livers uh, cold, but not frozen. So that they're able to, since they are able to control the whole process, they can keep the livers uh, at a, the, the right temperature. And then, and then uh, to release the oil, instead of using heat or other chemical means uh, to release the oil from the liver, it's a shift in that temperature from that uh, icy cold water temperature to uh, like almost the room temperature. 
And so since they're able to control the whole process, they can extract or collect is what they like to say, because they're not they're not fighting with nature, they're working with sure. nature. Now, and that's really quite different than how uh, fish oils are produced by other companies, because a lot of people talk about um, molecularly distilled as being superior. You want to comment why that's not? Yeah, the case? yep. So, so there, there's a lot of, you know, uh, terms that people don't really fully understand or there's misinformation. And so, you know, one thing people will say, oh, this oil is cold processed, but that really only refers to one step of a, a 10 step process. And you brought up distillation and some people will talk about molecular distillation or short path distillation. And distil distillation is an effective means of removing some of the contaminants, but it it is um, really boiling the oil. Like you, people are familiar with wat distilled water, it's boiling the water. And so uh, most people would not probably want to have their Cod oil boiled because what happens is that heat is destroying the vitamin A and D. And the whole reason for taking cod oil is to get naturally occurring vitamin A and D, which is harder to get in a diet unless you're eating liver or organ meats and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, there's some key nutrients in Rosita. Uh, they have more than just omega 3s. You, can you comment on that? Yep, for sure. So, yep. Fish oil in general, people take fish oil for the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, EPA, which is, you know, fantastic. Um, but cod liver oil, as opposed to just regular fish oil, cod liver oil has naturally occurring vitamin A and vitamin D. And, and um, like I said, those are harder to come by unless you're, unless you're really eating organ meats. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, how can people take Rosita? Uh, so, uh, you know, the taste of liquid color oil is a little intense for some folks. That, that's true. And, you know, what, what we found was, uh, so people are used to taking, you know, uh, people that have taken other fish oils or cod liver oil, they're used to taking something that's uh, highly refined. And so it is more palatable. With Rosita, it's unadulterated. So there's nothing is being stripped out. It's not being heated. So it does have to be uh, refrigerated to maintain freshness. Um, and then when you take it out of the fridge, uh, you have to shake it up because of the fat. There's different types of fats in there um, and they'll separate out while it's cold. And so you have to let it warm up, shake it a little bit, take it. And what we found was after about a week of taking it daily, people are accustomed to the taste. I mean, I have, I have, okay. two, I have two young boys and they take it, they'll ask for it. They take it just fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there are capsules though too. Yep. So so they make soft gels, um, which the, the key feature about the soft gels is if you're really, <laughs> really taste adverse to the liquid, the soft gels work great. But the other nice thing about the soft gels is since it's totally encapsulated, they don't require refrigeration. So that's great for people traveling. You know, nobody wants to be <laughs> worrying about a, their liquid cod liver oil spilling in their luggage or anything like that. So um, soft gels are a great, great uh, feature because they don't have to be refrigerated. Uh, and so for the people with uh, autoimmunity, uh, what, what should we be sure that they know? Yep. So uh, again, the, the Rosita cod liver oil, since it's not heated, retains the, the naturally occurring vitamin A and D. And so the, both of those vitamins are, are you know, well-researched and well-studied as being nutrients that support, you know, a healthy immune system. And so, um, so and, and again, the, the omega-3 fatty acids are, are great uh, for our brain. And um, since it isn't heated, those are in their natural state too. So, so basically it's uh, unlike other supplements, it's really, uh, uh, you know, the way I perceive the Rosita cod liver oil, it's really a, a real food supplement versus something that's processed that might have confer some benefits. Rosita, your body's going to recognize that as a natural food product. <laughs>